Right, okay, so we're starting a video here. How to earn $100 within around about a minute playing Phasmophobia. So first things first, you want to go ahead and go towards Tangle, uh, Tanglewood Street House. It's the smallest of all of the maps, I believe. At least currently, it's the smallest of all of the maps. So select that. And as for your difficulty, your payout is going to scale depending on the difficulty. So the pictures themselves will stay, uh, will scale on stars but the uh, the difficulty will give you the overall multiplier at the end. So uh, basically, just take the highest difficulty that you possibly can, right? In this case, I'm going to take Nightmare because this is the newest difficulty. But I'm just going to ready up and start. You don't have to bring anything with you, so it won't cost you a penny, won't cost you a dime, all right? Just hit start. As soon as you're in, there's only three things you need. So just grab the key, grab the torch, and grab the... Uh, Grab the camera. Torch is going to make it a little bit easier to go and see the bone. What we're going to go and do now is just head straight in and we're just going to go and look for the bone. That's basically it. Okay. So I like to take this route. You can take whatever route you want to. So I just go straight in, take a, take the corner into the little boys room. I think this is, there's no bone in there. I go and check the ground inside the, the bathroom and the bath as well. I don't quite know exactly and pinpoint all of the spots that the bone can spawn, but, um, Oh, I know where the ghost is because I just heard it. But I am just checking the ground quite uh, frequently. And then I take it in towards the uh, adult room. This is quite an active ghost. There's no bone there. There's no bone there. No bone there. Check it into this closet. Nothing there as well. Uh, nothing around the back of the couch. Nothing. There, there's the bone right there. So what you want to go and do is get as close as you can to the bone. Take a picture. Pick up the bone. It doesn't matter about anything else right now. Uh, and now you just straight leave. This is literally just it. So just try and get yourself back to the truck as quick as possible. Um, I'm going to come back in in a second and explain a few other things that you can go and do to get money. But just to give you an idea, and keep in mind, I was talking a little bit there, so I was a little bit slower. But hopefully, you'll see the results in just a second. And then there's a few other things that you can also go and do to get yourself a little bit more money. As you can see there, that's $100. Straight off the bat, and that's guaranteed. As long as you find the bone, take a three star picture of the bone, pick up the bone, you're guaranteed the higher multiplier from nightmare difficulty in this case. So I get a hundred bucks. I don't know why this is now frozen. There we go. Uh, click resume. You're pretty much good. So that took me one minute, eight seconds of total investigation time. So a few other things that you can go and do go back towards Tanglewood, select ready up, and off you go. So when it comes towards it, there's a few other things you can go and take pictures of. Uh, the Ouija board would also be good. Um, any kind of ghost interaction as well. You could also just guess the ghost. Just guess right now. Um, since this is one of the newer updates, there's a four times chance for it to be any of these bottom four right here. Um, this won't be always the case in the future. Um, but whenever they release new ghosts, there's normally a bit of a higher chance for you to get those ghosts. It's this way, it gives us a chance to go and see those new ghosts and play around with them. So I'm just going to guess uh, on Rio right now. Let's go with Barkey. Let's go with Barkey right now. And let's just go and select that. No idea if it's going to be it. We don't really care about what the ghost is. We don't care about the ghost type. We head straight in. Once again, let's just take the same route. Just curl straight in. Look on the ground. Look on the beds. Nope, nothing here. Into the bathroom. Look on the mat area. Look in the bath. Nope. Straight in towards the uh, the baby's room. There's the hand right there. Take a screenshot of the hands. Whoops. Take a picture of the hands. Crack that, and you're basically done. That that's it. Once again, you've got a hundred bucks. What you can go and do is, if you listen, if you ever hear where the ghost is, or if you want to look for the Ouija boards, um, Ouija board will give you an extra bit of money. And the ghost interacting with doors, light switches, throwing items around. You can also take a quick picture of that as well to get interaction, um, which will also be for your for your evidence. So here, I just heard a door there, and I think it was somewhere around here, right? So I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this. I didn't get it. I think it was one of these doors. I'm going to do that as well. And I didn't get it, unfortunately. But there's an interaction period where the ghost interacts with something. And you've got around five seconds to try and take a picture of it. The closer you are to the object, the higher star rating you get. So you want to try and get three stars whenever you possibly can. So I'm just going to head in here because I'm going to look for the Ouija boards. Normally, the Ouija board could be right there. That's like the most common place for it, in my opinion. Um, so I'm just having a little scan around. I don't see anything. I just heard it flick a light, I think. It sounds like it's somewhere over there. But no, I don't think there's anything else in here for me to go and pay too much attention to. So I just guess the ghosts. I try and look for the Ouija balls. I try and see an interaction. I try and take photos of all of them. Then I dip. 
Uh, even better if it does dirty water or it does anything else. And if you're a bit lucky here, you might get a bit of extra money, like I said, because you'll guess the ghost correctly. Let's go Barke. Could be wrong. Doesn't matter. At least I know I get 100 bucks as quick as possible. And how long did that take me? And even though I was kind of messing about there, there's my hundreds. It's a demon. <laughs> That's my luck. And there you go. That was a minute and 45 seconds. Even then, it's still a quick $100. I mean, you can go in with groups at times and you could be in for like 30 minutes and you still only sometimes walk out with like $150, maybe even sometimes $200. But for like 30 minutes of work, 20 minutes of work, when you can just do it in a minute, this will probably be patched in the future. But as of right now, if you want to go and use it, I hope it helps you. You know, if, you, if you're like me and you're dying a lot of nightmare right now, trying to test things and get in with groups and if you're constantly always just throwing items in here, here and whatnot um then you'll lose a lot of money um so hopefully this will be a good way for you to go and get some money and get it up nice and quick uh so if you do like if you do the math 100 dollars a minute or 100 dollars like let's say every two minutes you got to get yourself a good amount of money but anyways um i'm always live on twitch.tv forward slash no sympathy feel free to check out the channel if you guys want to i do a lot of phasmophobia and a lot of other games um, but if you guys do like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and uh, leave a comment down below if you found any other methods or anything else that can make this more efficient as well and sharing the video with a friend will just be ace you don't have to do any of it by all means but hopefully this can help some people if you are looking for a little bit of money i don't really encourage this as well please try and play the game it's more fun to play the game but this is just like a quick method for those who are a bit skin a bit broke and they just want to try and get some easy money to play with their friends or play with others all right anyways i'll see you guys later Thanks for hanging out.